Before starting the teardown, gather the following tools. You'll need some sockets, two and an eighth inch, 19 millimeter, 17 millimeter, 12 millimeter. You also need the ratchets and an air gun in order to use these sockets. Open box wrenches in 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 17 millimeter, 21 millimeter, 23 millimeter, also a 19 millimeter would be handy, and an 8 millimeter stud puller. Also a pilot bearing puller, alignment dowel pin puller, and a very healthy rubber dead blow hammer. Some small screwdrivers and putty knives can be very useful for removing gaskets, small parts, and for cleaning. We'll start with disassembling the engine by removing the flywheel. You will need an air gun with sufficient torque to remove the 2 and an eighth inch nut. After removing the nut, strike the flywheel on the outer edges just inside the ring gear with your dead blow hammer. If you want to use a 5 pound steel hammer, be sure not to strike the ring gear, clutch disc surface, or the pressure plate mounting surfaces. One or two solid strikes should be enough. Do not strike an automatic counterweight the same way. Instead, use a cold chisel placed behind the counterweight at its smallest radius between the weight and one of the bolts on the rear gear. Knock the counterweight off by driving the chisel toward the shaft. Make sure you use a chisel thick enough not to hit the shaft or the inside of the counterweight. It would be a good idea to put the nut on a few turns to keep the weight from jumping off. The best time to pull the pilot bearing out is while the shaft is contained in the engine, like right now. We then rotate the engine to begin working on the front, removing the main hub bolt with a 19 millimeter socket. Pull the thermal pellet out and its spring. Now it's the easiest time to remove the main seal. Then remove the 12 millimeter front cover bolts. Each of these has one lock washer and one flat washer and they will be needed when reassembling the engine so save them. With a screwdriver or pry bar gently lift the front cover from its gasket. With a 10 millimeter box wrench, remove the oil pump bolts. If you like, this would be a great time to remove the 17 millimeter nut on the oil pump gear. Remove the timing gear and lift off the oil pump and its chain and gears. Then remove the front counterweight. Remove the 12 millimeter gear bolts. Try the thrust plate, in play bearings, race and spacer off. Put one of the front gear bolts back in to hold the gear in place. Then remove your water pump studs with the stud puller. Working from the back of the engine, remove the rear main seal and the woodruff key. Note that these bolts are shorter than the front gear bolts. Remove the long through bolts with a 17 millimeter socket. These bolts are also sometimes referred to as tension bolts. Don't forget to get the two bolts that are outside the circle. Using a hefty screwdriver or pry bar, lift the rear end plate at this location. Placing a screwdriver between the end plates and the rotor housings could damage them. Lift the rear end plate straight up, being careful not to make contact with the shaft threads on the rear main bearing. Lift the rear rotor out 
and collect all of your small pieces that remained in the chamber or fell off the rotor. Use all of the threads on the dowel pin puller for removal of the alignment dowels. Note the lower pins near the exhaust are usually more difficult to remove. Don't be surprised if it takes some effort. With the two pins out of the rear rotor, tap the rotor housing with a dead blow hammer to get it loose and then remove that rotor housing. Pull out the remaining two dowel pins in the same method you used the first two. With a large screwdriver or pry bar, lift the center end plate until it's loose. Carefully lift it off the shaft. Note that you may have to lift the shaft up a couple of inches to get it to come off the shaft properly. After your center end plate is out of the way, pull the shaft straight up, clear of the engine. Careful not to drag it along the bearings. Now take the front rotor out and collect all of your small pieces that may have stuck inside or fallen off the rotor. Tap the front rotor housing to remove it. And then take out the front gear. Remove the outer and inner water jacket seals with your tools. Small screwdrivers work real well. Take out the oil pressure regulator, pop out the rear main gear and remove its old O-ring because you're going to replace that when you rebuild the engine.